my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 8.32am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Thursday the 29th of September. And Alexa, what's the weather like? In Rochester, it's 5 degrees Celsius with partly sunny skies. Today, you can expect showers, with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 5 degrees. Yes, it was cold a bit last night. I did feel the cold last night. Um, like I said, I'm putting the heating on for an hour before I go to bed. An hour when I get up. And then it's just so expensive to heat the place up at the moment. I mean, half the costs are going on the electric and gas, and then your food bill has doubled, and then there's absolutely nothing left to live on. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Why was the sand wet? Because the seaweed. I know that one. She said, why did the jellyfish blush? Because the seaweed. There's so many variations to that joke. Right, guys, so what did I do last night? What I usually do, stay indoors by myself. I had a cup of oval tea. Uh, there was no messages at all last night. And, you know, that's fine, because I don't want to keep getting out of bed and rushing over to the phone. Um, so uh, there was about one message, and I was so tired that I just went to sleep and I ignored it. Um, so I had a cup of oval team and I had some nibbles. You know, like you do, you have your popcorn or whatever and you sit and watch a film. So I went out, went out with my son the other day to TJ up, TGI Fridays for that lovely birthday meal. Um, my son treated me to some sweets in this American shop in blue water so we've got some carrots in this pick and mix it's very expensive very expensive the sweets in there very expensive they've even got some lucky charms cereal we've got some lucky charms cereal in here um so you just three pounds just for not even for a tiny Few bit of sweets. So instead of getting the extortionate pick and mix, I got a packet of crunchy Cheetos and some Reese's white king size cups, white chocolate Reese's. So I've got some of those. So I was snacking on the pick and mix last night while I was having my oval team and I watched the Ewan McGregor film. I've seen it before, but a long time ago, A Life Less Ordinary. I watched that last night. It was long. Um, so I decided to walk Max before it got dark, because it's getting darker earlier now, and it'll go, get even darker at the end of October, won't it? So it's getting dark. It starts to get dark, I would say, just after 6pm. And for a woman, especially walking around a field in the dark and you can't see where you're going and you need, you still need to take a dog out for a walk, it's best to take a panic alarm and a torch. Now, I've got to buy myself a panic alarm because I had a load at Lansdowne Court and I... I Luckily, I didn't have any need to set them off, but some of them couple as a torch as well. So I'm going to look online for a panic alarm for because I, especially, I've gone onto the field and I've seen balloons with those oxygen gas canisters. So obviously, some people are using balloons for the wrong purpose, and that's not my intention. My balloon videos are done to entertain and I have fun with them. I don't use balloons for things like that. So 
on the field when I went out yesterday, I saw balloons and those oxygen silver canisters. Um, also, there used to be two or three ways out of that field. There's only one, <coughs> one way into the Rochester Riverside field and one way out. So it's very hard. If there is some trouble, you've got to go in the same direction. There's no way out. It would be sad to see that little riverside like dog walking area go, but if it has to go, it has to go. Um, I shan't be walking. Max is a tiny dog. He doesn't need a great long walk. So I don't need to like go over the Strood Bridge and that with him. Um, so I will find another way uh, uh, to walk Max. As long as, you know, once he's gone to the toilet, that's fair enough. Um, so I went for a walk, I would say, just after 6.30. Got onto the field, it was getting dark, it wasn't dark. Took a few photographs of the lovely Turkish Delight sky, as I call it. It's nice and red and pink with fluffy clouds. Walked onto the field, um, a few dog walkers to start with, then it got like quieter. It was dark when I started walking back home to my flat. Got inside, I had put Groundhog Day on the TV before I left because I like to come into a flat. When you're on your own, you like to come into a flat that's either got like a radio on or, or the TV, not loud. Um, because it feels more homely. So when you return from somewhere and it's cold and empty, it's not nice, is it? So I tend to leave the telly on low or the radio so it feels like someone is in the flat to welcome you when you come back. So I put that on and then I went to bed later on. I got up this morning. Um, I'm still feeling a bit sore in places. Um, I suffer from bad heartburn. Um, always have. My dad had it. Something I've inherited. I'm trying to lose weight around the stomach because I think that's got something to do with it. When women go through the menopause, which I am at the moment, going through it, I haven't... I'm not at stage yet because my periods have not stopped yet. They're erratic, very painful, my hormones are fluctuating and I'm dreading it. Dreading it, a woman goes all through this, not every woman, but most women go all through this pain and agony without much help and struggle and it can make you feel bloody awful with the hormones and the miserable moods that you get. And some men do not understand what a woman is going through. Oh, you look miserable. And you could be in pain. You could be feeling sick. And you just have to sit there and write, okay. And carry on with it. My experience of, go of going towards the menopause is the horrible mood swings, the stomach troubles, the bladder problems and the hot sweats. You'll just be sat somewhere completely freezing cold. And then all of a sudden you feel like you're in a sauna and you can't breathe, you think you're going to faint. And it's awful. Um, so there's that. Right, so I fed the cats, emptied the litter trays, 